Welcome to the Cooking Chronicles with Ingrid. In today's video, I am hosting a monthly desserts collaboration with a few other channels. This month's theme is all about the holiday treats. You don't want to miss this. Whether it's serving it up on Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's, you are definitely going to be inspired to serve it up nice and sweet. Welcome to the Cooking Chronicles with Ingrid. Today I am going to make for you a pumpkin donuts with a maple pumpkin spice glaze. Definitely a must have dessert item in your Thanksgiving menu. I'm going to use the Simple Mills pumpkin muffin and bread baking mix. This is the first time that I am using this brand and I cannot wait to share with you my review and my thoughts a little bit later on in this video. You are also going to need your donut baking pan. Now I'm using this tasty baking pan. You can make 12 donuts. You're also going to need a bowl and a whisk. You're going to need some cooking spray. You're going to need some eggs and you are going to take the eggs you're going to need three eggs and you are going to mix it in with the water and oil. So you're going to need about half a cup of water and one third cup of oil of your choice. That's what I love about the uh, Simple Mills brand. The oil is totally up to you, but please take under consideration the different tastes that the oil will bring to the mix. Okay, this is what the mix looks like. I appreciate that Simple Mills do not contain any artificial ingredients and no preservatives. So whenever you are making any of their cakes or muffins or breads, you definitely want to store them in the refrigerator uh, right away. The ingredients are very simple. It's almond flour, organic coconut sugar, pumpkin, arrowroot, organic spices such as cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, organic coconut flour, baking soda, and sea salt. Um, it is corn free, grain free, it's paleo friendly, and it's plant based, which is awesome. It is also, um, some of their products are gluten free, uh, most of them in fact, so this is also a gluten free product. And it is low in carbs, so if you're watching your carb intake, this is definitely something that you can add, you know, whenever you're using your reset days so that you don't go completely off of your uh, carb intake. And also you can substitute, like I did, any sugars that are um, included in the ingredient ingredients, I just substituted them with um, sugar alternatives. So once you mix up all and whisk up all of the eggs, water, and oil, um, along with the baking mix, you want to make sure that it is well blended. You're going to want to set this aside. And of course, before doing all of these things, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Um, and so I love this particular um, recipe. I got it from a book that I checked out of the library. It's called The Great Big Pumpkin Cookbook um, by Maggie Michael Chicks. I, uh, this recipe was inspired by that book. Again, I switched it up because it, the original recipe was calling for actual, uh, co um, confection of sugar and regular sugar. And so I kind of just switched those things out as well as the maple syrup. Um, and so you're going to see what I used in the ingredients, um, to substitute the actual ingredients that are in the recipe and so I just use my ladle to go ahead and just spoon in the uh, mix inside of the donut pan and so it makes exactly 12 of the donuts or it can make 12 um, muffins it depends on the size if you have a bigger muffin pan then of course it may only make six you can either make muffins with this mix or you can make a uh, loaf of bread with it using an eight by um, four inch loaf pan. Um, and you are going to just increase the amount of oil used. 
okay um and so you can always just buy the box and follow the directions there are different varieties of how you can use this particular uh baking mix i like i said it tastes so good you won't even tell can't tell that it was made using almond and coconut flour that's how delicious it is and it's so light it's not dense at all um and i think that that's one of the things that i really appreciate um of uh, of this particular uh brand simple mills so make sure to check it out if you have not already of course you can always make um the donuts uh, from scratch by using your own coconut flour and almond flour and the ingredients and following um, the steps. But I really do enjoy this recipe. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to bake in the oven, again, at 350 degrees. Um, and they come out so delicious. Your house will smell so delicious. And so I really did enjoy making this. Again, it is definitely a... Uh, relevant for the thanksgiving season especially you know for family members that are really watching what they eat um and so this is definitely a good alternative for those family and friends once again this video is part of a collaboration that i am hosting along with a few other um youtubers that collaborate once a month the last monday of the month where we share a specific theme dessert this month the theme was holiday desserts and so we are all bringing you a delicious recipe with the holiday theme so make sure to check out their channels um so once you have um spooned in all of the batter inside of your dough pan make sure to tap it so that the uh the batter can settle in then you're going to put it in the oven again bake it for 15 to 20 minutes while the donuts are baking we are going to go ahead and make our maple pumpkin spice glaze and for this glaze i am going to use the swerve confectioner sugar instead of the um uh, regular confection of sugar again because we are watching our sugar intake and so this is sugar free calorie free and so what i love about the swerf brand is that it is a one-to-one -one ratio so if the recipe is asking for one cup of confectioner sugar you will use one cup of the swerf confectioner's sugar so if you haven't tried out this brand go ahead and um, try it out i love it for baking and making my little sweet treats um, and so you're going to need about half a cup of the powdered sugar of your choice, um, two tablespoons of maple syrup. So instead of the actual maple syrup, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the brand that I'm using and this is Chalk Zero's maple syrup, uh, the alternative to maple syrup. I absolutely love this brand as well because it comes closest to the actual syrup you can use this for pancakes french toast and now also for sweet recipes as well oh boy and so the darndest thing happened while i was making my maple glaze i totally did not realize that my battery had died out and of course that portion of the video uh is no longer it's i don't have it <laughs> But you're gonna need half a cup of powdered sugar, the two tablespoons of maple syrup, whether using your maple, your uh, regular maple syrup or a maple syrup alternative like I shared with you, um, a juice of half a lemon and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And you're gonna mix it until you reach the level of consistency um, for the glaze um, for the donuts. So as you can see, my donuts are done. This is how the maple glaze is gonna look. It came out a little dark because of the pumpkin spice um, but that's okay so I tried to um, dip the donuts in but it didn't really quite cover it the way I wanted to so you can go ahead and drizzle the um, the glaze on top of the donuts or you can just frost the donuts with a spoon as you see me doing here um, and so you're gonna have just enough icing for the 12 donuts so you're not gonna have any waste of the ingredients you're gonna utilize them all um, and it's really really tasty
this recipe is definitely perfect for the fall season, especially during the holiday Thanksgiving season. I love it. It is a great way to make it to kind of like put to bed uh, the whole fall and a great segue into the Christmas season. I absolutely love it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, you can also sprinkle some chopped pecans and almonds like I did here. Again, I would love to hear what your holiday treats look like. If you want to join in the collaboration, go ahead and upload your video and add it to the playlist. And make sure to check out the playlist once you're done here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!